hate the word. It was in my title for four years until I pushed my boss to change it this summer. Um, I think that statistics are manipulations of data. Anybody in this room could come up with any statistic to support just about any case that you want to make. Data, I tend to describe to people as outcomes. What we want to do is accurately and consistently define and count as many meaningful outcomes on the ice as possible. Um, there's some great companies here, and I'll, I'll talk about it as I move along, that can help even at, I think, the minor hockey level to collect information off of scoring chances, to database that in a, in a web program where you're not fumbling with Microsoft Excel or trying to learn it um, where mistakes, even for people in my position, are easy to make. Um, but what's meaningful? What's meaningful to you as the coach of the team? Uh, a little, a little background, I suppose, here on the use of video and the use of data in the NHL. Um, in 2006, I went to work for the Minnesota Wild. The first day uh, the team spent millions and millions and millions of dollars was a point when the team was going from that expansion stage to being a really competitive team on players. There was no video to support the decision making. There was no data to support the decision making. The video that the general manager had watched was produced by the video coach, uh, taking him about four hours per player video to generate. So it's taking him two days to give the GM one game on a player, and there's really very little context to that game. You get a video, you're kind of wondering, when was this played? Why am I seeing this game? Uh, no ability to query very specific moments uh, or matchups within a game and within a season. Um, what I did was I went to visit some Major League Baseball teams. I'd had that background as a journalist. Uh, they had done everything in their power to keep me away from their baseball operations departments as a journalist. Uh, working in hockey, they allowed me to come back in and study how they applied video and data to decision making. Uh, the first thing I saw was this, this program called um, BATS, Baseball Analysis Tracking System. And it took every pitch in Major League Baseball and connected that to the corresponding piece of video. Um, we brought the company in to Minnesota and had them do a demo. So literally showing Jacques Lemaire and Mike Ramsey and Mario Tremblay and Bob Mason video of CC Sabathia of the Indians pitching to uh, you know, left-handed batters in a certain count after a certain inning in the game and then giving the kind of the data that corresponded with that. Um, the coaches were great and understood immediately how that could connect to our sport. I was a little concerned that because baseball is so easy, each pitch is its own event, that the, uh, the running clock, um, the line changes that are happening on the fly, that it just couldn't be done. Um, that company built a great product. Um, other companies have uh, since then built very similar products. Um, but the idea then was that if we wanted to watch a player's, let's say it was a left defenseman, that was our first application. I think Bryce Salvador was available by trade, and we didn't trade for him, but uh, we were able to watch his, so being a left defenseman, his shifts in the third period of tie games against select elite right wings in the league. Uh, and just watch how he handled you know, wide speed, how he handled anything that might have come at him. Uh, whereas before that, that was not possible. Um, player shifts, for the first time, players were able to come in and watch only their shifts. They could jump to a power play shift in the third period uh, if they wanted to merely see that. Um, you know, even though that's come along, and I've had several conversations with people in other sports about this, a concept that I call guided viewing, you know, the coach sitting with the player, or specific teaching points kind of displaying within the, um, the video window, I think is really important. We put video in the hands of NHL players, and I think for the most part, uh, you know, they're not going to be as effective self-assessing uh, over a 20-minute game, if they played that many minutes, than if the coach sits with 